to the 2008 Skins Sandown Classic, Australia's most competitive 10 km road race. Distance runners from across Australia have made the journey to Melbourne to take part in the race and hopefully snare part of the $10,000 prize pool. Oh, I'm happy to go sub 30 again. Um, PB over 10k is 29.26. I'd love to get down around those, those sort of times, but I guess conditions will play a part today. It's uh, pretty wet and rainy out there. Um, pretty windy as well, so we'll see how it goes, but it should be a really fast race. So. Do you think you can better last year's place of third? I'd definitely like to come in the top three again today and hopefully to better it would be fantastic. And, yeah, like you said, the conditions aren't that great here, so hopefully just to get somewhere around the same time as I did last year, I'd be really happy. <laughs> Oh, there's going to be a lot of threats. Like Troopy's always running well when every steps on the line. He's always running well. Um, ben St Lawrence went to World Cross Country. With Liam Adams went cross country with me. And Tim Rowe's been running really well recently as well. So it's going to be a very tough day, especially with the weather conditions outside today. It's going to be <laughs> going to be nice and cold. Why did you decide to run in the Skin Sandown Classic this year? Um, I've just recently stepped up my mileage, so just started to target a few 10Ks and this is a pretty major one in Australia and you get quite a few good runners, so I thought I'd come down here and hopefully get pushed along in a fast time. I've been running in uh, shorts and singlet pretty much every day this year, so I uh, managed to go for a bit of a jog this morning down to Target and uh, get a few gloves and a beanie, so uh, something a bit different, but uh, hopefully uh, we'll still get some good times out there today. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It should be fun. Um, I haven't really done a serious 10k before, so it's kind of a whole new thing. Just go out there and give it a go. And um, yeah, my coach and I are sort of looking at stepping things up a bit because that seems to be where I'm suited. But um, so I'm excited. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Hoping to run a sub 30, which would be awesome. Um, it's been a big goal of mine. When my coach said it to me about six months ago he said yeah you're a sub 30 runner I sort of laughed at him and thought no there's no way <laughs> so sub 30 would be awesome so Amongst the locals the favourites in the men's race include Lee Troop from the Geelong region Liam Adams from Athletic Sessenden and Chris Hamer from the Box Hill Club In the women's race Renata Wiss representing Melbourne University is a Swiss national currently studying in Melbourne To start the day, a three kilometre race for the juniors was held over the one lap course. This included under 14 boys and girls, under 16 men and women, under 18 women and under 20 women. The main race of 10 kilometres is conducted over three laps and the straightaway of the Sandown Motor Racetrack. Each lap is approximately 3.1 kilometre. And the weather here was extremely cold, we believe around 8 degrees, but great weather for the running of this race for the men and women. The main race employs a split start where the women get a clean start from the pit lanes while the men are on the main straightaway. They join together within the first couple of hundred metres and then they are in one gigantic bunch as they go down the straight. After one lap in the men's race, it was a very, very tight bunch field with Lee Troop leading and he was slightly ahead of Michael Shelley, Ben St Lawrence, we had Chris Hamer there, Liam Adams in a very tight group. In the women's race after one lap, Rowan Baird from New Zealand was running very, very strongly and had a commanding lead over Tara Palm from South Australia and Lara Tamsett who were running within a group of men about 10 seconds back. At the end of the second lap, Troopy was leading Michael Shelley, a small group behind him with included Tim Rowe, Ben St Lawrence, Liam Adams, a little gap then had opened up there with Chris Hamer running well, Rowan Parrott was also running well at this stage. At the end of lap two, Rowan Baird had increased her lead and she was running very, very strongly. She had a good lead over Lara Tamsett and Tara Palm and they had also established a little lead there over uh, Renata Wiss running very strongly and also Lee first. As they come down towards the finish, Troopy had established a lead of about five metres here on defending title holder Michael Shelley. However, Shelley wasn't done. He fought his way back but couldn't quite bridge that gap and went down by one second at the very end of that race. He was followed home then by Liam Adams running a great race, Ben St Lawrence, Tim Rowe and Toby Rayner. The women's finish, Rowan Beard continued running very, very strongly, beautiful stride and came all the way down to take out this title very comfortably in the end from Lara Tamsett and Tara Palm 
and then coming through with the Victorians, Renato Wiss, Lee First and Martin Danilik. Uh, the last couple hundred metres was just trying to hang on as long as, I, as long as I could. I could see Troopy was just edging away, but I was just trying to hang in there as long as I could. And I was actually clock watching, so I'm a bit guilty of that at the end. And saw I was going to be close to sub 29 minutes, so I was pretty much just trying to focus on that. And eventually got there, but just wasn't good enough to beat Troopy on the day, and he was just too strong. Just absolutely stoked. I just thought, oh, I thought I'd struggle to break 30 minutes today. Just haven't been doing too many hard sessions and just absolutely shocked myself today with that time. Similar to Liam being so close to getting under the 29 barrier, it would have been good to go under, but, you know, 20 second PB, I'm really happy with that. And nearly a minute faster than last year, so can't complain. Oh, mate, absolutely wrapped. Um, yeah, just the conditions are pretty bad and just first sort of real 10k effort um, with all these boys and just, yeah, got dragged along with the pace to start with and didn't actually wear a watch in the race, so just because I knew I'd freak out at the time at the 5k mark, so um, apparently we went through in 14.30, I would have freaked out if I knew what the time was, so um, yeah, just absolutely over the moon with the time. Oh, it was great, eh? Hey? Um, bit of a cold start, but being a Kiwi, you know, I love the cold, so it was right me at home. <laughs> Dude, that's like a huge PB for me, so um, it was beyond what I ever had expected for today, so... Yeah, no, it's, it's a bonus, really. Yeah, I'm very happy. It's um, only the second 10K I've ever done, and um, I did one two weeks ago, and I got about 35 minutes and a half, so this is well and truly beat my last time, so I'm very happy. It took me a while to warm up, but everyone was in the same boat, so runners have to learn to race in every type of condition, so I'm not going to whinge and complain. It was, yeah, a great race, so I'm happy. It was a far, I did a faster time than I did last year, and it was tougher conditions out here today, so... I was very happy. Yeah, it's a PB and I, was, I wasn't expecting to do a PB. I thought if I can just get close to the time that I did last year, I'd be happy and I managed to go quicker, so very happy. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Athletics Victoria Athletic News. This is Junji signing out from a very wet and cold Sandown.